Magic Soft Playout allows you to superimpose static logo, with transparency, over the video. Since Magic Soft Playout allows you to have multiple channels, the logo settings are designed to be specific to each channel. The logo can be changed anytime, manually, from Magic Soft Playout client, and it can also be automatically assigned to a clip or to a playlist entry. For working with the logo feature, you need to edit the logo files and assign it to a channel. For editing the logo there is a specific program, Magic Soft Logo Creator, that allows you to import your graphics, edit it and save it as logo file format. For creating a logo, you need to start a specific program, Magic Soft Logo Creator, that allows you to import your graphics, edit it, and save it as logo file format. You can start Magic Soft Logo Creator from Magic Soft Playout Server. Go to Menu, Logo, Logo Creator. Magic Soft Logo Creator will show a starting dialog asking about the resolution of the logo that you want to create. You must choose the appropriate resolution from the drop-down list, and click OK. The user interface of the program will appear, displaying the menu that contains the following entries, New Logo, Import Graphics, Save Logo. When clicking Import Graphics, a file selection dialog opens allowing you to select Graphics File. After choosing a graphic file, it will be imported into the program and displayed in preview. There are controls for adjusting the position and size of the imported graphics. After making the necessary adjustments, you can save the logo file with the desired name, and the file extension will be automatically filled in. The extension differs from one resolution to another, but has a name that indicates the resolution, so you can easily spot the logo file. Assigning the logo file to a channel can be done from Magic Soft Playout Server. Go to Menu, Logo and choose the corresponding channel. The dialog that appears, shows a list of the logo, from 01 to 63, allowing you to select each element from list in order to be edited. The editing dialog allows you to select a logo file, and to add a comment for that logo. After assigning the logo files to a channel, you can use the logo feature from Magic Soft Playout Client, Trimmer and Entry Editor. You can associate a logo to a certain grid entry, row, by selecting the desired entry number of the logo from, Logo Cell drop-down list. For a similar result, you can also start editing the grid entry and select the desired type of logo by clicking on logo button that will display the logo selection dialog. After saving the modification, the logo cell of Magic Soft Playout Grid will show the selected logo. Beside editing the grid entry, you can edit the library entries by using the trimmer. The trimmer allows you to associate a logo to a clip by clicking on logo button that displays the logo manager dialog. By making the changes in the trimmer dialog and saving it, you ensure that the clip will always have that logo associated with it. When inserting the clip from library to playlist grid, the logo cell of Magic Soft Playout Grid will show the selected logo. After assigning a logo to a playout channel, it can be used from Magic Soft Client. There is an enforced logo control that allows you to force displaying a certain logo or disabling displaying any logo, if no logo is chosen. When default entry is chosen, the behavior will be to insert the default logo. If there is no other logo associated with the playing file, the default logo is the logo number 1.